evil. Why do little innocent children suffer? Uh, and, and why do people, good people frequently, suffer from cancer, diabetes, and so forth? In other words, why do bad things happen to good people? If I wanted to give you my doctoral thesis in a nutshell, I, I could do it without saying a word. Perfect innocence, right? Jesus, no sin. He's God and Son of God, perfectly innocent. Yet he suffered tremendously. For himself? No. For us. There's an atonement, an expiatory factor involved there. Padre Pio used to say, Jesus gives the biggest share of his cross to his best friends. Why? So that they might share in the work of redemption. Right? No soldier ever received the Congressional Medal of Honor or any other medal for valor without going through a heck of a combat, a heck of a fight. Well, God wills us to go through the battle to share in the glory. No pain, no gain. No cross, no crown. Uh, it is mysterious. I, I understand that. But, it's God's will. So when you see some, and I mentioned to someone this morning, I said, well, the hardest thing I've ever had to do, I believe, is to go to uh, visit children in children's hospitals who are dying from cancer. Oh, what a hard, difficult, difficult thing. Um, the families are, you know, they say, and I believe it, they say that the most painful thing a human being can go through is the loss of a child. Um, my little sister was killed in an automobile accident when she was 14 years old, along with, I think, four of her friends, coming home from a football game. Uh, she had just turned 14, and um, the driver was an older boy. My mother had warned her for days, don't you can go to the game. You know, she had just gone into high school, first game of the season. You can go to the game, but you can't go in a car. You walk up like all the other older kids did, like I did, my sister did. You can walk up the game, then come home. You can't go in a car with older kids. And the battle went on. And that morning, my mother went, was on, my mother was a registered nurse. She was on her way to the hospital about 6.30 in the morning, and I, I was sitting at the breakfast table, and, you know, the, the argument, you know how it is sometimes with kids? It's like a running battle. It never ends. You say no, but they don't understand N-O. And so it goes on and on and on and on. And my mother, going out the door, said, Now look, you can go to the game, but you don't set foot in a car. She did. No, I'm sorry, I left something out. Don't set foot in a car, because if you do, I have a terrible feeling something terrible will happen. Sure enough, everybody but the driver was killed. It was one of the biggest tragedies in our county for years. Why do bad things happen to anybody? Well, it's not necessarily punishment. God loves us, even when we do things wrong. God loves us, but he will allow us to atone for our sins and the sins of others. We're not in it alone, you know. We're in this together. We have brothers and sisters, our family members, our friends, community, the world, country, and we play we, an effective role in the salvation of our brothers and sisters. That's a very consoling thought. Everything in your life becomes powerful and effective. 